Howdy folks and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about chlorine, what it is, what it does, how it affects your pool, and how to test your pool water for chlorine. So what do you say we get to it? Alrighty gang, before we get started, I wanna thank you once again for watching this video. Remind you to like it if you do, subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. And don't forget to check out my website, poolschooler.com. It'll come across the screen right here, poolschooler.com. It's full of more members only exclusive content that will help you save even more money servicing your pool yourself. Okay, first off, I wanna give you this disclaimer. This is not a chemistry lesson. I'm not a chemist, I'm not a biophysicist, I'm not anything like that. I don't know chemistry very well. In fact, I quit chemistry in high school because it was just hard for me to understand. But hopefully that encourages a lot of you that you don't have to be a chemist to know how to take care of your own pool and the basic pool chemistry. Um, but what I do wanna tell you is what chlorine basically is and what it does and, um, and then how to test for it. So. What chlorine basically is, is a poison. Chlorine's job is to kill germs and bacteria, it kills things like E. coli and stuff like that. But its job when it comes to your pool water is to sanitize it, to make it safe for people to swim in, okay? So that's the purpose of chlorine, okay? It comes in several forms. I won't go into this one and that one in this video. I'll do another video soon about the three types of chlorine that, that are typically available for residential pools, but that's in another video, okay? So, um, Testing your pool water for chlorine, what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my AquaCheck Pro test strips. Now, I typically recommend the AquaCheck 7 test strips for uh, pool owners because um, they come in 100, 100 per bottle and it would take you like almost over a year to use them on a weekly basis. Um, and they also test for cyanuric acid. I don't usually test for cyanuric acid in my pools except for at the end of the swim season and at the beginning of the swim season because the only reason I want the measurement of cyanuric acid is to know that if it is too high, somewhere between 250 and 300 parts per million, then its chances are good that we're gonna need to change the water out in that pool and start with fresh water again so that their pools will hold chlorine better during the swim season and off season as well. So that's what the, the AquaCheck 7 test strips help you um, test for as well. But like I said, because I don't do that that often and I go through these very quickly because of I have a lot of clients, uh, I use these because they're cheaper and they test what I need to test for on a regular weekly basis, which is total chlorine, free chlorine, pH, um, uh, alkalinity, and that's basically it. Um, so I'm gonna use these and what I am gonna test for is total chlorine and free chlorine, it's the top two lines. Total chlorine is basically the, the amount of chlorine that is in the pool, whether it's being used to kill or attach itself to some kind of germ, or floating around free, waiting for some germ to be in the pool so we can attack it, okay? So that's total chlorine. Free chlorine or available chlorine is the chlorine that has not been utilized in attacking some kind of germ or bacteria or fungus or something like that and it's free and it's swimming or it's floating around in the pool waiting to attach itself to any type of germ or something that, that falls into the pool so keep that in mind typically in arizona those usually line up so if you have ideal total chlorine you're going to have ideal free chlorine that's not always the case in all areas but that's what i do and so we're going to go back and we're going to test the pool water right now and see what we get Alrighty, so i'm at one of my clients pools and i've got my test strip i'm holding it like so so it matches up to this, this would be the way it matches up, okay? And I'm gonna look at the top and the second one down for my total chlorine and free chlorine. So I'm gonna dip it in the pool. I'm not gonna shake it. And it's already starting to change color. Looks like my pH is a little high, but we won't talk about that right now. I'll add my acid and drop that down. But you notice my free chlorine is about at a three. And my total chlorine, it's kind of a strange color, but that's kind of moving into the three into this range right here, if you see it, okay? So again, my free chlorine is the thing I'm looking at, and I'm in decent shape. I'm gonna add some chlorine though. And once I test it, I kinda go, okay, I'm in the ideal range, and I'm okay, then I'm good to go. Um, I will add some chemicals to this pool. I will add some tablets to maintain that level. And uh, in this case, they use um, the pucks or the three inch tablets. And that's what I use in most all of my pools just because it's convenient on a weekly basis. And that's what we're gonna add to the pool. We're just gonna add some more chlorine tablets. And again, I've got a video on how much chlorine tablets your pool needs. I'll put a link to that video below this video so you can check that one out. 
this is not what this video is about. So that's testing the pool water for total and free chlorine. It's that simple. So folks, there you have it. That is my hopefully short video on how to test your pool's chlorine levels and what chlorine is and what chlorine does. I hope it helped you understand a little bit more about chlorine and uh, hopefully it encouraged you to where you realize you don't really need some kind of PhD or degree in chemistry to understand basic pool chemistry and to maintain your pool yourself. Oh, hey, one more quick thing. Testing your pool chlorine levels holds true whether you have a chlorine-based pool or a salt pool. You still test for chlorine the same way using the same test strips or the same kit, okay? So keep that in mind. This is not about testing for salinity, in which case you should use a salinity tester. And I have a great one that I'll put a link in the description below this video that you can check out and a video that I did about that salt tester because it's fantastic and it's a good price. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can put them in the comment section below this video. Or as always, you can email me directly. My email address will come across the bottom of the screen right here. It's kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out my membership website, poolschooler.com. And until we meet again, remember to have fun, be safe, and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.